What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Clash Rove here, and what I got for you today is a attack strategy video in Clan Wars for your Town Hall 9 accounts. And right now we're on the Town Hall 9 account, my main account, and I haven't been on it in a while to show you guys what I'm doing. So first of all, let me show you guys what has been happening with my base. So I've been mainly focusing on walls, getting all my walls to level, uh, or to level 8. Uh, I got that last little bit, and as you can see from the last time I showed you this account, I had like all the outside to do so I've been really working hard on pushing some walls also I'm maxing out my tussles right now I got one going right now and I'm farming up in gold you guys notice I, I always like to stay in master league uh, but I wanted to go farm for a little bit and get some loot <laughs> and try to max my base out uh, as quickly as possible because I have plans and things I have to do so let's go ahead and go look at our war and the last war we did have a loss but you know we're working we're working we only lost by two, so it was a pretty uh, tough war. A couple of uh, missed attacks and stuff like that. Also, a couple of near close three stars that just didn't have enough time, especially this one. So I have a, uh, an attack strategy for you guys called Go Lava Loon. Uh, and let's take a look at it. So let's take a look at Alex's base here and how I set up Go Lava Loon. So <laughs> go, what Go Lava Loon consists of is you have to have uh, two golems. Recommended, two golems. You can have one golem, but I think two golems a max one in your clan castle is possible level four or higher especially if you're going for a max town hall nine base like this uh, it's not completely max arch towers of course cannons wizard towers but you know the air defense and the the expos are max so this is a tough base i knew i wasn't going to be in there get in there with go wee wee because the walls are too much and you know it's just not a a base that one that you just go wee so I, I decided to use a new one go lava loon and as you see i wanted to deploy on this side because the clan castle, you see how close in range it is, so I didn't know if I was be able to pull it. But I have to get to that air defense right there with my uh, two golems and my heroes and my wizards. Uh, so the first part of Go Lava Loon is the go. So let's work on the go here. So Go Lava Loon, you want to take out the Archer Queen and one air defense. That's the first phase of it, go. So you drop both your golems on the side. And, then, and they're going to go in and hopefully distract all these defenses Why the wizards shoot behind and your heroes come straight in that's that's the first part uh, you want to take out the queen and hopefully take on air air defense and in this case hopefully two because they're right next to each other then the second part of course you want to typically go away from the air sweeper but the air sweeper is not really too much of a, a factor in this one that is a max air sweeper for town hall nine so good thing it was pointing this way on the go part uh, then you come in with your lava loon attack on this side and at the end you should have enough stuff where the base is just wrecked all defensives are destroyed and it's just over I mean it's a three star almost every time unless time is permitting you but you know in cases like that I would suggest a, if you're bringing wall breakers you know four wall breakers three is enough to break through these level uh, uh, nine walls and level uh, ten walls just bring two goblins or two archers because in the end, you'll see what happens with this raid. So let's go take a look at it, and let's take a look at the army composition I will be using. Okay, as you can see right there in the bottom left, I'll bring four wall breakers. I could substitute that one wall breaker out and bring two archers if you guys want to. 16 balloons, three wizards to back up the golems and the heroes, uh, one golem in my own camp, uh, three lava hounds, one golem maxed in my uh, clan castle, my heroes, a lightning spell for the CC, and my ray spell. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what I did here. Alright, so we dropped the golems in. They're going in. Hopefully I wanted the better spread on that. But look look at the placement of the wizards. Strategically placed to take out these outside buildings where the heroes won't go window shopping on the outside. You see all these stuff on the outside. You don't want your heroes going there. So, waiting for the wizards to take those out. The Arch Queen does lock onto those golems. Now look, the king is going to try to go out. But that one wizard right there took out that gold mine. So the king's going in, taking out, and he's going to lock on the queen while the wall breakers go and break through that. Once the wall breakers break through, the king's locked on. I use his ability. Now, you don't have to use his ability in the beginning like this like I did. You could hold off and save for it, but I like to use it because it takes out the archer queen faster. And plus, they spawn, spawn up extra barbarians to protect my queen and stuff like that. So let's keep taking a look at this. So everyone's going in. Golems are distracting pretty well. Those uh, expos are on them. And look, I was able to pull the clan castle troops. And the queen is doing what the queen is supposed to do in this. She's behaving like I want her to. She's going to take out that 
Archer Queensland, and the next closest defense is the air defense. So it was, it was a good help, and so I dropped the lightning spell on the CC to help take it out. There was nothing really strong in there, just a few wizards to take out my golems, and uh, my Kane's gonna end up taking out the rest of them. And then the last uh, golemites will take out that last air defense. So then over here on this side, sorry, as you see the air, um, the queen's actually taking out that air defense. On this side, I dropped two lava hounds on this air defense and one on this one because this is the closer one. This one's a little more in deep in the base. Take a look. Like that. And then uh, what I talk about here is the deep rage spells. Look how deep that is on the base. That's gonna accelerate my troops up for a long time, guys. So the first lava hounds break, and those balloons go right over those air defenses. And look at that, guys. Not really many defenses left, and my balloons have like full health. Now, I, little, I wanted to hold off on my last rage spell for a little bit because I knew I already had enough stuff. Pretty much, the town hall was already locked on. I had troops on uh, stuff on the outside here. So, this is where you want to bring in a little extra goblins, guys. Because, you know, there's a lot of cleanup on the outside still yet to be done. And it's, it, it would have been helpful if I would have brought those extra goblins. Because they're fast. And they do extra damage to certain buildings. So, look at that, guys. Nothing left of the space. No defenses. No nothing. A few lava pups up. And you see that King's actually going to be the deciding factor, I think, in this one for being a three-star. Uh, I do have a lot of troops cleaning up for me. And my queen. My queen survived it all. That was, the, that was the best thing about this raid. My queen survived. Actually, in both of my raids I had in this war, my queen uh, survived. Uh, and this one, the next base I faced was a little less defense. Uh, a little less uh, upgraded, but still the same less, still the same attack strategy. So I do have a lot of balloons. Look how many balloons I have left, guys. That's like eight balloons, seven packed together. You know, eight or seven. And I do have a lot of lava pups still up, but guess what, guys? They're going to get distracted on that king. Unfortunately, I did not want that to happen. I also want to better split all my, my, <laughs> my balloons. And look, the queen's shooting her favorite target up here, the wall. Why not go for the level 9 wall? Why shoot the level 10 one that has more hit points? I don't, I don't, I don't know. They should fix that about the AI about the queen. That's, that's something they should fix. <laughs> so, you see guys, literally nothing left of this base. The king goes down. Like I said, if the king was not up, I think this would have been a 3 star. Because, listen, I would if I would have brought those extra archers, look what would have happened. Only two structures left. And look, my queen just locked on. And look, they were locked on. I had one more second. Ugh. Man, that's frustrating. That's frustrating. So let's go take a look at the next one I use. Same same attack. I don't think I brought the extra uh, archers on this one. I just went for it. So let's take a look at JoJo's base here. Shout out to the other clan for uh, taking us on and uh, beating us. That was a really uh, really good war, guys. So same, uh, same strategy here. I wasn't able to actually get two air defenses. I don't think on this one, but still nonetheless, it was a strong attack. Uh, the air defenses are not as high level, neither are the expos, but the arch towers are higher level. Um, so, same thing, the queen is a much easier target this time around. Easily, my queen actually veers off. It was actually my wizards that saved the day and took out this air defense. Uh, but my queen actually does come in clutch at the end, you know, taking out outside buildings and stuff like that to help with cleanup. So, the queen, right there, we're going to take her out real easy with the go part. And then Lava Loon coming in from the bottom over here. I'll just side wipe this base. So let's take a look. It's good to see Clash Roby getting three stars, right? <laughs> so same attack strategy, guys. Golems going in over here. One go down right there. Another right there. Wizards behind to take out those first couple defenses. Wall Riggers going down to hopefully get those Golems going on the inside. And it does work out. The King taking out that uh, first barracks. And look, that Queen is a magnet for him. The queen is just a distraction for the king. The king just loves the queen. So, <laughs> lightning spell over the CC. Uh, good lightning spell placement. Really good. Clumped up their troops. Really nice. Uh, king raged up. I think those uh, wizards actually stayed behind that wall. It was really, uh, really sucked that that happened. So, my queen was taking damage over there, so I had to use her special ability. And just like that, guys, look, we're ready for the start of this raid. So, uh,. Two lava hounds down on the first air defense, uh, one lava hound down on the next, and balloons coming in. Notice how I spread out my balloons a little differently here. Look, a few on the outside taking out those, a few on the outside going for that archer tower. They're not going to clump up. You don't want to just 
throw down your balloons on a two-finger spread. You want to kind of strategically place them to where they'll take out the most defenses along the way and then clump up at, towards the middle and then they can get in the rage spell. So let's see how we, how we go. So the Golden Mites are still up. Oh my god, Lava Hounds are still up. The first one's about to break right there. And the Lava Pups are actually going to help and cl do cleanup. So the first couple air defenses are down. Look at that Mickey Mouse placement of the Ray spell, guys. Mickey Mouse, that's what you want. If you're looking like Mickey Mouse, you're doing it right. Look how many balloons are raged up in that center core. So Lava Hounds are still distracting those couple of defenses. And look at that, guys. This one was actually a little bit closer than I liked it to be. Uh... If I was just going to absolutely demolish this base, no one, like, not a lot of troops lost. Uh, actually, they didn't lose, I don't think I lost any, pretty much any balloons, really. Still got the same amount of balloons I had up in the beginning, just a few to disperse. Have a big clump of them right there, and look, all we have left is an arch tower and a cannon. And this cannon's actually, do I want to take out my queen? No, sorry. It's going to end right there. <laughs> So the queen's gonna help with cleanup at the end. Archers on the outside. Look at that, guys. Look at what we got here. Nothing left of the space. This attack strategy is so powerful. If your town nines aren't using this attack strategy, I don't know what they're doing. Um, I just don't know. <laughs> uh, surgical hog. Go lava loon. It's not lava loon, guys. It's go lava loon. That first part of the attack strategy is so important. So tell me guys if you like this attack strategy. Uh, I do. I, lo I love it. I've been using it a lot in war lately. I've used it in my past three wars. Had a really bad war my last war, but this one was a really good uh, rebound for me. And I, uh, I got almost two three stars. It was a pretty awesome war. Tell me you guys like this attack strategy. So uh, I do a lot. And uh, hopefully it helps you out guys. And hopefully these tips help you out. And... Hopefully your town lines are incorporating different attack strategies into their bases and war. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, stay classy and clash on, guys. I'm out, guys. Peace.